Hey, good morning, guys. Good to see you. Addie. Miss Dottie. Carrie, Jason, how are you? Happy Friday. Morning, Jim. Hope you're doing well. Miss Susan. We had a good birthday for my 10-year-old yesterday. Time flies. Ooh. Um, put things in perspective, 10 years, eight to go. And uh, anyway, hope you're all doing good. Thank you for all the birthday wishes to my girls. Uh, all the kids are still in bed. Might not have gone to bed on time last night, so might be sleeping in a little bit today. But, uh, happy Friday. Hope you are uh, excited about this weekend. Some of you may be going back to church. Um, some of you may be still plugging in online. I'm excited we'll be back at church officially in a week. And uh, yeah, that's that's actually what I want to talk about this morning. You know, thinking, um, obviously, we've been talking about 2 Chronicles 7.14 and, uh, for quite a while. And, and let me just say it again. I don't think we can get too much of God's word. God says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, then I will, and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven, forgive their sins, and heal their land. And, um, and that's, that's an incredible prayer. It's an incredible promise. Um, it's an incredible opportunity, really think about it and uh, and this morning I, I wanted to uh, to really just ask you to take advantage of that opportunity um, as a church I really want to see uh, the church in this season I hope the church in the season we step up and we we take advantage of this promise it's in chronicle 714 we um, we really seek God and, uh, and, and expect God to move in some big ways, uh, so that we advance, advance in this season, uh, his kingdom. I just think, man, what a great opportunity as, as ugly as things are right now, as broken as things are, um, as hurtful this is why the church exists. Uh, it's it's for times like these to bring hope, to uh, bring the healing of God, to bring people to uh, forgiveness and, and relationship with God. Because you think about those three promises in Second Chronicles seven fourteen, He's going to hear them. Okay, so there's relationship there. Uh, he's going to forgive them. All right, so. Uh, th their salvation there, and and then he's going to heal them, and um, and and so there's there's restoration, there's redemption in that healing. I believe. Listen to what Psalm thirty four seventeen says: The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears. He delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart, and saves such as have a contrite spirit. And, um, you know, we, you think about healing. We talked about yesterday just the healing in, in Second Chronicles of, of a land that was plague-stricken and, um, you know, drought-stricken and uh, locust and pestilence. Um, and, and we have a land right now that is, is needing some healing as well from some, some broken hearts, from... Uh, contrite spirits from anger and from 
very old wounds. Um, and I've been talking a lot to a lot of different pastors this week and just recently and, uh, and, I, and, and listening to a lot of pastors. And, um, and I just think, man, this is, this is the church's privilege that we get to be the ones who bring this healing. Uh, the church does, ambassadors of Christ, uh, because he's the healer. And, um, and so this morning, look, as you go into the weekend, we have a great weekend. I hope you get outside. Uh, but I just want to ask you to pray for your church. If, if you're a part of our church, pray for our church. Um, pray for your pastor. Pray for your leadership. Let's pray for Pastor Rick, um, Pastor Darren DeLon, Harry Bates. I'm just thinking about our, our leaders and, and their families. And, and let's pray that God would use our church to bring healing. Let's let's really pray. Um, let's spend less time this weekend talking about it or, or hoping about it. And I'm talking to me right now, and and let's just ask God to do that to bring people into relationship with Him, to bring people to repentance, um, and and forgiveness unto salvation, and uh, and, and to bring people to a place where. Uh, and he will deliver them, and God would be near to those who are brokenhearted, who have a contrite spirit. And uh, and whether that's through economic suffering right now, whether it's through um, physical illness right now, people are struggling, uh, whether it's through race relations, um, whether it's, it's through uh, just a, a relationship that is struggling in a marriage, right now, uh, I just want to encourage you to, to pray this weekend. Let, let's, let this weekend be a weekend of prayer uh, as you get outside, as you spend time with your family. Man, let me just challenge you to set aside some time in that secret place. Set aside some time in your war room. Um, get alone with God. Ask Him to do what He says He's going to do. Ask Him to be near those with a broken heart to deliver those who run to him and, and deliver them out of their troubles, to, to save those with a contrite spirit and, um, and pray that the church would just rise up in this season, that we would be great ambassadors for Jesus. Um, and not the church building, but the church. And, and so I just, uh, I'll, I'll hope and I'm excited that in this season, it's dark in a lot of ways. It's ugly in a lot of ways. But, man, this is why God called us. This is what we're here for. And, um, and so let, let's, let's not miss this moment to be light in the darkness. But I, I believe it starts with prayer. It starts with us asking God to show up, asking Him to lead us, asking His Spirit um, to move as we cry out to him. Amen. Well, I want to pray for you this morning. Um, hey, and also just let you know, if you have any needs, if you guys, uh, watching right now live or, or later, anything, um, on your heart, man, we'd love to join with you to, to, to just link arms, to stand in the gap with you in, in prayer. Um, or if it's a tangible need, please private message me, um, let me know, call me, text me. Uh, so we'd love to to be there with you and, and for you in this season, whatever that looks like. So, uh, so hey, I love you guys. Glad you jumped on this morning. Hope you have a great weekend, and uh, and I hope that you will will find some time. You'll make some time. Pray for the church. Pray for me. Pray for your pastor. Pray for. Um, the leadership of God's people as we go into this this season, the rest of the season, whatever you want to call it, and uh, and just that we would we would represent Christ well. Uh, we would bring people to a place of healing, to a place of forgiveness, to a place of um, repentance, to a place of seeking God's face in prayer, uh, and and that. 
more people than ever would would be heard by God because they're crying out to God in this season, and we as a church uh, help them get there. So anyway, let me pray um, this morning for y'all. Father, we just thank you for uh, for your word. We thank you for your promises. I thank you for those who are uh, listening this morning. And, uh, and Lord, thank you that, that you're near to those who are brokenhearted, to those who are uh, contrite in spirit, who are struggling. And, um, and I pray, God, for, for those of us who aren't right now, the, those of us who are feeling strong and feeling whole and well, God, that we would uh, go after those who are struggling, that we would be strong for those who are weak. God, I pray that the church would seek you right now more than ever, that we would be your ambassadors, that we would be bringers of hope and, um, and, and, and just make the most of this opportunity, this ministry you've given us of reconciliation, God, that uh, you would help us to walk that out in a way that pleases you. Bless everybody this weekend, your presence. Help us to get alone with you, God, to, uh, to be uh, in a, our prayer closet, God, and, and on our knees seeking you. And uh, we just thank you that that we will find you as we seek you in the name of Jesus. We pray all these things. Amen. All right. Well, y'all have a great weekend. First John 5, 14. I'm going to check that out. And um, yeah, hope y'all uh, hope to see you soon. If you're here in Hot Springs, Father's Day, we're going to be at church. So it's going to be good. Love y'all.